Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I'm very happy to take a call on this final reading of the Motor Vehicle Sales Amendment Bill. And I want to um, respond uh, initially to some of the comments that Rahui Katane just made. And I can only say that I hope the Minister of Police wasn't listening to the description of her son's car, because it could end up being crushed, uh, given, given the description that, uh, that she just gave. I, I, what was that? A little bit of, louder bit of sound. I can just see David Bennett driving down the streets of Hamilton with his boom box on the back of his car. Uh, Mr Speaker, I want to... Uh, apparently it's compulsory in Hamilton. Um, I, uh, along, along with the dice. Along with the fluffy dice, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. That's a very revealing comment. Um, Mr Speaker, I, uh, I want to acknowledge once again the former minister, Heather Roy, and I'm glad that she took a call on this final reading because it's nice to hear somebody on the government side speak with some knowledge about what this bill actually is and what it actually does. And I, I have to say I was pretty disappointed during the committee stage of the bill that not a single government member spoke after Mr Boscowen introduced the committee stages. Not a single government member spoke. They didn't respond to any of the questions or issues raised by the uh, opposition. And a, a, as a result, uh, many, of the, many of those questions still remain unanswered. In fact, the only knowledgeable speech that we got from, the, from, the, uh, from the, the minister was actually from the former minister who spoke with some knowledge of this bill because Mr Boscowen de departed uh, not, a, not a jot from the notes that his officials had provided to him. He didn't speak well, as... I think, he, I think that Heather wrote that speech. It was actually, he, he, Heather Roy, it was actually quite a good speech. Heather Roy may he well have... He delivered uh, it really badly. Heather Roy may well have good. written the speech that John Boscowen then had the opportunity to deliver because he certainly didn't demonstrate that he had any knowledge of the piece of legislation that we were, uh, going, that we were debating. Uh, the, the, I have to say the committee stage, despite the lack of participation for from government members, or perhaps because of it. It was quite an interesting and uh, lively committee stage debate. We heard from Moana Mackie about her car selection criteria, which tends to involve uh, the number of cup holders that it has. What she didn't mention in her speech, but she mentioned it to me afterwards, was that uh, she, when in selecting her car, she didn't bother to check whether it had a petrol light. And in fact, she discovered the hard way that the car didn't have a petrol light when it uh, ran out. Um, we heard from Grant Robertson about the... Uh, the, uh, the crossbar uh, rusting issue that he had with his first vehicle that he purchased in Invercargill uh, and, uh, and some of the issues that he had encountered there with the change of um, motor vehicle, uh, the ownership of the motor vehicle dealer that he purchased that from. I talked about the five cars that I have owned uh, in my period of driving. Sorry to interrupt the honourable member, but the time has come for me to leave the chair. Uh, this debate is suspended. Mr Speaker, resume the chair at 2pm for question time. Thank <laughs> you.